Hello ladies and gentlemen, Spirit of the Law here. Recently I was doing some hiring for Age of Empires Villagers, and not to name names here, but a particular applicant that I'll show on the screen here said, I work well as part of a team. Uh, this is something that hasn't always been my experience with Villagers, and I wanted to uh, confirm that this is actually true. So today's Mathematical Age of Empires question is, do Villagers work better as a team? First off, the only thing that villagers actually do as a team is build. So that's what we're going to be looking at. Do they build faster as part of a team? So I did some scouring on the internet on the Age of Empires forums and the general consensus is that this is the formula. So where the amount of time it takes to build is three times B, which is the amount of time it takes for one villager to make the building, which does change depending on the building, usually around 25 seconds to a minute. And N is the number of villagers that are working on the building. So if we take a look at what that means in a data table, we see that this actually isn't a linear relationship. And what happens is the more villagers you add, the less change they make over time. So the first villager takes 100% of the time that it takes one villager to make by definition. The second villager we add actually only shortens that by 25%, not 50%. So this continues to the point that if you have nine builders and you add a 10th builder, you only actually speed it up by 2%. So what it looks like is you probably shouldn't have too many of them building together. Kind of makes sense. Uh, villagers have been known to be a little chatty when they're working together and they just kind of go at a slower pace. What does this mean in terms of the game, which is what we really want to know? First, let's look at putting down a blacksmith in a market, something you'll typically do in the feudal age on your way up to castle if you're just going to bypass the feudal age entirely. I have seen some players send the two villagers together to work on one and then the other. So I did a little experiment here to see which one's actually faster, having one on each building or having them build together. As we can see, it's way faster if each one works on their own building. Because two builders working on one doesn't make it finish in 50% of the time, there is some wasted time there. That's really good to know. As well, a second experiment here, I lined up six houses and I had two villagers start on either end and another two villagers start on the same end. The ones that are starting on the same end are going to be working on the houses together. The ones that are on opposite sides will never be doing that. As we see, they build a lot faster when they're working on their own. Now, I'm not saying the individual house is built faster, but if you add it up over time, if they're working on the different ones independently, then they'll get more done. The whole takeaway from it is if you're building a lot of buildings, you should spread the villagers out, don't have them work on the same building unless this is some kind of special situation where you really want to get that building up as fast as possible and even those extra few seconds will make a big difference. For example, if you're making a castle in your enemy's town, then you're probably going to want that up as soon as possible and you're not just going to send one villager in there to build it because that's the most efficient way. The point is it's very game changing to get that up fast, so that's a situation where you're going to want a lot of builders. But if you're sending them out to build a big field of houses, start the villagers on different sides of the pile of houses so that they don't actually start working together because you know those chatty villagers, they just don't work well together. In summary, I rejected that applicant because I felt like he was lying to me on his resume. So thanks everybody for watching, I'm Spirit of the Law, and if you have any other Age of Empires mathematical questions, be sure to leave them in the comments, and I'll see you next time.